Is that them? Did we find the right ship? It's someone, Wilkinson. That's good enough for me. They'll do. Give them the armor. Listen, recruit, you may not remember much, but that's not really important to me. What is important is that we get you out of there. Get moving. That armor you have is equipped with triple jump boots. We'll see about upgrading that more if you make it out alive. Sensors show that there are a few turrets in the next room. Punch them in the face parts. Or anywhere, really. Just punch them. Your armor can take a beating, but you'll need a gun. In that shop, there should be some gun parts and a crafting bench. Pick up the parts and activate the station. Welcome to Joe's Arms and Armory Crafting Stations, where the only limit to your destructive capabilities is your imagination. The secret behind when you select a socket, you have access to your inventory, where you can select parts. You have three tabs in your inventory. Connectors add more sockets. Caps do funny things to your entire gun. And barrels? Well, those should be obvious. There are only two rules. First, parts have to physically fit where you want to put them. And second, barrels need to face forward. You can thank the insurance companies for that. Go ahead and try adding a new part now. Add, remove, or rotate parts however you want but keep an eye on your energy costs. Every part you add costs more energy to fire. So sure, build a 40 barrel gun if you want. Just be prepared to only fire once before having to wait for the recharge. Done crafting? Don't worry, you'll get better at it. Wilkinson, can you get that door open? I'm on it. Collect any money you find. That's how we fund this resistance, after all. It's also the only way you're getting a better gun. At least for now. So, we're looking for a self-destruct button. Should be easy to spot. Big, red, obvious. The archivists like to do things by the book here. That's your ticket out.
No, I wasn't expecting someone like you. Our intel said you were quite the soldier back during the invasion. I hope you're as good as the records indicate. Hey, did you see how that last door had a skull in front of it? I do that to my office, too. That's how you know I'm the boss. God knows why the aliens do it, though. Back on your feet. Dying isn't an option at this point in the game, recruit. on your feet. Wow, I didn't think you'd run into anything that large, but you held your own. That's probably what the skull door was all about. Anyway, find that self-destruct button and get out of there. Don't Good work. You're not dead. We're sending a shuttle for you now. But there's no time to rest. Your work is just beginning. See those ships? Each one of them is an obstacle. Each one will be a battle that will test the very metal of the resistance. And each one will get us one step closer to our final objective.
There she is, soldier. The heart of the Archivist fleet. That's the thing holding Earth hostage. That's our target. That's the mother gunship. Welcome to your headquarters. Fully autonomous and isolated from the rest of the resistance. Just in case you're compromised. That's Jasper. A loner AI who runs the ship. I'm Wilkinson from Tech Support, and I'm your on-site certified maintenance representative from Joe's Arms and Armory. Joe's Arms and Armory. Gun-shaped solutions for alien armada shape problems. I've got three other totally non-expendable agents on other ships to onboard today, so I'll keep this brief. Get your missions from the missions console. And remember, there's no body- When you're ready- The Resistance is about more than just destroying the mother gunship. There's an- We're giving you some gun parts to get you started, recruit. Everyone likes options. You can only bring a few gun parts with you on a mission. Some missions will allow for more gun parts. Now, as much as I'd like to, we can't just waltz over to the mother gunship. It's usually cloaked and shielded. Luckily, Wilkinson thinks she's got the answer to that. Most archivist ships have a data core at their heart. If I can get my hands on one of those data cores, then maybe I can crack it for information. Your mission? We need intel about getting more intel about getting intel about cloaking. Get onto that ship, get the data core. Good luck. Ah yes, a foundry ship. We've never figured out what they build on these ships, but I know what you will build here. Character, get it? Good. Now go get that intel and don't melt your face off. The data core should only be a few rooms in. It should be as simple as getting in. All paths should eventually lead to the ship's core. It's just a matter of how dangerous the trip is. You can buy more gun parts here, but keep in mind you can only bring a certain amount of gun parts back with you. If you die, well, we have a plan for that, but your gun parts won't come along. Well, well, if it ain't the stuffy colonel. Shepherding another starry-eyed youth to their doom, I see. Hylas, you take your amphibious keister out of here. We don't have time to talk to you. Commander Hylas leads the flight squadron. They're attempting to take on the alien fleet head on. Same way we've been trying since the beginning of this war. That's why the Admiral tasked me with finding an alternative. Ah, is that what you think? The Admiral gave you this operation to keep you out of the way.
I've cut off Hylas's feed, Colonel. At least for now. Thanks, Wilkinson. Hylas used to care about the Earth and saving it from the aliens. Now he just cares about publicity moments and scoring paid endorsements. Remember, flight squadrons don't make you cool. That's what sunglasses are for. And leather jackets. We're all on the same side, Colonel. I'm getting a reading from the next room. The data course should be there. For how badly we're losing this war, these archivists are pretty predictable. They're only winning because they cheat. The Admiral told me that himself. Good job not dying. 
The mother gunship is constantly deploying new kinds of threats against us. No one has seen them all yet. Except the Admiral, perhaps. Yes, the Admiral has seen everything. You know, they say the Admiral ripped off the arm of a spider tank and javelined it into the eye of a bloater. There's a true Olympian for you. The thought of that just warms my jaded heart. I should commend your progress. But I won't. On to the next mission. You're back, and you got the data core. Wilkinson, can you analyze that thing for information on the cloaking device? Of course I can. Just a moment. Jasper, analyze that data core. You don't get credit for analyzing something if you just tell me to do it. Just analyze it. Hmm, this is interesting. Oh, oh no. Oh dear. What's happening, Jasper? This is terrible. What did you bring back? That data core was compromised. I've been infected. Infected with what? Are those hollow ads? Quick, go touch one. I want a free vacation. Please, don't. Are those vitamins? Everyone loves vitamins. This might take a while to fix up. God knows what it's messed up. Guys, I feel... Awful! I didn't know AIs could have headaches. And there doesn't even seem to be any actual data on this data core either. Good heavens! Then that intel is rubbish! Recruit! Go find a better intel! Are you sure that's a good idea? Who knows what problems that one will have? Of course it's a good idea! They can try out the new armory while they're at it! Sure! Let's break everything around here. Just unlock the door to the armory, Wing Wilkinson. This is your armory. This is where you can upgrade your armor. Add jumps, add abilities. You can do a lot here. As you destroy aliens, you will collect XP. Each time you fill the XP bar, you're awarded another upgrade point to use in the armory. Many things can be upgraded multiple times, but keep in mind that you can only pick a single selection from each category. But don't worry, you can always downgrade your choices and choose again if you want to activate something else. Okay, back to work. Head to the mission console. We've got things to talk about. You have a choice here. You can target the smaller alien ships to help acquire the gun parts and resources you need. Sometimes you have to save up to take on the main objectives. Sometimes our contract with Joe's Arms and Armory requires the use of certain parts. It's really whatever their marketing department is pushing that day. You don't have to use them, but you have to bring them with you. 